Pels take on a red hot Charlotte Hornets spot for the first time this season. And the Pels also try to improve their position and maintain in the Western Conference. If he's got two hands on it, it's two free throws. Unfortunately, field, you're not playing well. You don't want to be in that arena. Anthony Davis controls the team. The thing I've noticed over his career, especially later in his career, he doesn't get a whole lot of passes in the post, so he has to go get them off the glass. Good setup, Drew Holiday. Rondo, and the first points of the game. And Drew Holiday's going to see him in the fourth quarter. I don't think there's any question about that. Oh, absolutely. How about that? Everybody just fell asleep right there. That, that was asked of him and, and more. It, it was an impressive performance and the fact that this team stayed together when, when AD fouled, fouled out. Yeah. And we mentioned the third fewest for Kemba Walker and the Hornets. Man, Kemba got there. Now Dwight Howard back at it. Ben. They come off a win on Monday night just like the Fells. 112-107 over Sacramento. Filling it up. Two. And still three more years on a monster contract for him. Monster. It'll be Rondo. Barges his way in. That's one of the times. That's right here. Kick Eldress. Let him shoot from outside. It'll be Batum. And too close for comfort. Dwight Howard. Cousins got to get on the top side. Cousins setting it up. AD inside the arc. Good look. Pels. He's, if I'm going to miss, AD's in front of the rim, but it was tapped away. What a bad idea. Kid Gilchrist, the distance. He got into the paint. Had a, a length advantage, although there's the skip by Batum. And Kemba gives them their first lead of the game by two. In a way, now I, Darius Miller could come up with it. Drew Holiday got Kid Gilchrist out of position. Drew Holiday did not. Good idea. Get AD the ball against Kaminsky. And a little fall away for AD. 20 up against Johnny O'Brien. Shot clock coming down, and he knows it, so it's going up. He got contact, and he's got it off the window. He sees there's only five seconds left. And how about the run? Dante Cunningham, DeMarcus found him. You saw it, and I saw it. He wanted him to shoot outside. That's Michael Carter Williams on the crossover. Marvin Williams. Got it over. Yeah, got it. That was hard the last game. Jeremy Lamb had a good setup for Marvin Williams. End of the shot clock, but he's their best three point shooter. End of the shot clock for Boogie, and he knows it. He's over Marvin Williams on the step back. Sweet. 34 26 contingency here. And I'm talking in the stands. On the floor, we know about Kaminsky. He gets the triple before uh, DeMarcus could get. Lamb. Easy. You and I saw that. Simple run in the baseline for Marvin. We'll check into the game. Long miss, Jameer Nelson. And Kaminsky going to the line with the lead. And an opportunity for a three. Good away on the take by Graham. Well, that's his niche. He, he wants to get in there and defend. And Drew sets it like up. That. Darius gets it. That's big. The 39. Anthony Davis, Dwight Howard will cover him. And Darius Miller off the pick. Mid-range. Looks good. Soft touch. Jeremy Lamb with Kemba at the end of the shot clock. And it's Dwight Howard. Begging for free throws. We'll look back at the official. Kaminsky put an arm right into him. It'll be Kemba Walker for the layup. Two-point game. It's now in the run out. It'll be Drew Holiday. Batum tried to grab him on the way. Extra pass. Holiday on the run out. He'll give it to Boogie. Lining up a triple. Yes. Boy, a lot of touches. Pals by three. 12 and 12 on the road this year. Had a really good record overall getting to that against Eastern Conference teams. Dwight Howard going to the line. And blocked away. Use the left hand. He can't get to it. Kemba Walker on the take. Man. Lulled him to sleep a little bit. As the Pels are down by four, deepest deficit so far. Holiday on the pick and roll with AD. It frees up. Etwan Moore got the triple. There's not a whole lot of uh, diamonds over here, so they want your best guy. Cunningham wide open. Makes him pay. They all converged on AD. Now Holiday and AD. Beautiful pass. Oh, cool score. Yep. It'll be Dante Cunningham in the mid-range. One Pass point. The ball. You're into the numbers. They're 17 and 9 when they lead at the half. 
ever so slightly like this. Kid Gilchrist. There you go. Now on the switch. And Boogie will move. Hammer hammers it. Three-point game. Rondo was well. He was hit from behind. Look back with Marvin Williams on the clean block. Kid Gilchrist. Go to the hole. He knows his range. AB up against Marvin Williams and over Marvin Williams. Back to the lead for the Pell. For a first lead in the second half for Kemba Walker and the Hornets. And he got too close for comfort. Man, oh man. Four points for the Pells over the first five minutes of the third. Rondo looking for Drew. He's got him. He waited. The first of a back-to-back. -back. Off tomorrow before the severe test on Friday. Dwight Howard tapped away, but he stays with it. Can't relax. Take it away. Boogie stayed right there on Dwight Howard. On the bounce, Etwan Moore. And going to the line looking for the three-point play. Six hits out of four to play. And the Pals already with 15 turnovers. Compared to 10. And Charlotte's only got one so far in the second half. Howard. And he'll get the little flip. Random time. I don't want it. You take it. The Pelicans aren't scoring, but neither, neither is the Hornets. So. Oh, yeah. Etwan. Etwan waited. And he's and Darius Miller hit. They let it go. Etwan Moore with a good decision. And the shot clock. Jameer Nelson. Four Stepped point on the game. Line in my seat right now. Pelicans, don't forget the Pels average 111 a game. They've been averaging this month at least 112. Kemba gets the roll. For his final five seconds, Nelson got to go up. Darius Miller at the buzzer. Got it. Ooh. That's huge. Nope. Instead, it's going to be a deep three. Lamb, no, he's going to it. He's going to get it. Unbelievable. Busted play. Scrap. Kaminsky behind a wall. Don't bite. Jeremy Lamb. Floater. Smart play. Before AD buying much right now, the offensive end. AD. It'll be Nelson. He must be coming out. He's got the triple. No, nobody at the scorer's table right now. Jameer put a lot of dribbling ball. Has got to go sides. up. End of the shot clock. It'll go up. Get it. Low percentage oh. make. Four point game. In a three point game by Jeremy Lamb. Mid range for Lamb on the run. Got to move it. Shot clock down. Boogie's up. And he's got the triple. Four point. Now a gamble to the backcourt. Floor is space for a wide open Frank Kaminsky. He protected it and he got it. Oh boy. And who's going to take charge offensively for the Pels? Drew Holiday up against Kaminsky. Miller on the run out. Good pass. AD on the finish. Great for attempts tonight. Well, I would, I would definitely think so. He, he certainly had, he's had 24 twice this year, so. Dwight Howard. Marvin Williams. He's got the size advantage, trying to step back, and he will. And he makes it a one-point game over each one. Moore. Four, five, and nine, and five or less for the Charlotte Hornets. And what's it going to be after the timeout? How about a layup? Etwan Moore got the roll. Boy, good play. It needed to be hot with the rim protector in front. Kemba, deep three. They got what they wanted, too. Wide open look on the arc. Up against Batum. Breaking it off. Getting by Batum. Got him out of position. Gets the easy one inside. Good take by Drew. 94-92. Not making mistakes when he's getting to the cup. Now almost taken away by Kim Gilchrist, who's got some length. Gets a pick, goes to the hole again, and the same result with the left hand. Here's the killer. Minute left. Kemba Walker with Batum for three. Points off a turnover. Not this franchise. Kemba Walker to make it a one-point game. And he missed the second. AD's got it. They got a foul. Kaminsky against the length of Cousins. Batum... And that'll do it. It's official with three seconds left. Pels bringing in. This is a hard-fought road win. And, and a little mo to get ready for the team with the second-best record in the West, the Houston Rockets. Well, like I was saying on the Black and Blue Report this morning, this team is starting to learn some things about each other, learn some things about uh, individuals and, and, and how they play well as a team. I think Cousins has been a big part of his style of play change, I think.